Hi, this week I've received at least three emails from around the world from senior golfers asking how they can get a little bit more distance and are there any quick, uh, quick tips that I can help them with? And the simple answer is yes, yes there is a way that we can help you. Uh, and it's understanding where your club head should be reaching its maximum speed. I do a lot of coaching, a lot of uh, one and two day courses and one of the most common things that we see is people's maximum club head speed being before, the, before impact rather than just a, after impact as it should be. Um, I've got the swing trainer here and this will, um, it's got like a little clicker in it so it should make a noise. Um, if you listen for where this clicks but also note where my finish is. Let's see what happens. Hopefully you heard that on the camera and that should have clicked somewhere up here. And did you notice how my follow through was quite short? Um, in an ideal world, what we want it to do is to click just after the golf ball, literally just after the golf ball. Could you see there how the swing was complete rather than finishing short. So generally when this clicks it's reaching its maximum speed and thereafter it's decelerating. So if we now relate that to hitting a golf ball, I've actually got three golf balls down here but I'll, I'll try and hit the first one but what I'm going to do is put my maximum speed in way before the golf ball and let's just see what happens. So that's not gone very far. This is a, a six iron. That's only just gone over a hundred yards. Again, did you note where my finish was? It's quite a way short. But from there, I was putting maximum speed in at the start of the downswing. Absolutely pointless putting in there. Also, it's pointless putting it in in the backswing. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a golf ball hit with a backswing. So let's try and avoid speed in the takeaway. So let's keep ourselves relaxed. That's the number one enemy of the golf thing. Always remember that one. So let's be relaxed first. Smooth tempo. And let it go. That's a much better stride. There's actually a 150 marker out there. That's probably gone 10, 15 yards past that one. Um, so hopefully you notice there the start of the downswing was smooth. Maximum acceleration through impact, just past impact is where it reached its maximum speed rather than before which is so common amongst golfers and generally the reason that is we want to hit the ball a long way and we're, we're a little bit enthusiastic and we put it in at the wrong place. So I would highly recommend that you use a training aid similar to this one because this will give you some, some sound, some, some point of reference to where you're actually clicking. Keep it relaxed, put the speed in much more down here, don't need it anywhere else. If you haven't got one of those, why not flip your golf club upside down and listen to the noise in this one. Listen to the swoosh through impact. Yeah, there's no point putting it up here. And see how that really affects that follow through. So my advice to you is relax, number one. Don't swing too quickly in the backswing, there's no point. Don't start the downswing too quickly. Let it gradually accelerate through impact. Let's hope this helps you and it, uh, it gives you a little bit more distance. Thanks for watching. Bye.